Just after 6 this morning, police rushed to the scene of a ghastly discovery of a severed head in the vicinity of Harmonville on the George Price Highway. It was found on the seat under a bus shed in an almost isolated area of the highway. Minutes later, police headed to another horrendous discovery in the village of Cotton Tree near Mile 43, where a headless body was discovered some 20 yards behind what seemed to be an abandoned property just across from the St. Joseph R.C. School in the village. The words do not enter sprayed on the concrete posts at the entrance to the yard did not deter the killer or killers from trespassing the residents before slaughtering Hilton Wade. That's because the mattress and a few other items inside the home were torched presumably after Wade was murdered, stabbed multiple times to the body and his head severed. While no official identification documents were found, several receipts and documents, including letters from attorney Michelle Zuniga and a statement to the Chief Justice belonging to a Wade of Cotton Tree Village address, was cuttered in a corner on the floor. Both scenes were cordoned off by police and processed before the body parts were transported to the Western Regional Hospital and then on to the Carl Hushner Memorial Hospital, where it awaits the post-mortem. The 56-year-old man is known in the village and elsewhere in Belmopan and Camalote as a loner. Some say he was mentally challenged and complained of not getting justice from the police and the lands department. But Cotton Tree villagers say that Wade did not own the property he, where he lived. It belonged to a Chinese businessman who allegedly threatened his life after he refused to leave the property. Is that the motive for this heinous crime against Wade? Police investigations continue into this latest homicide. Dwayne Moody for News 5.